everyone, it's Miss Carol. And this week we are in lesson number 10 of our Sunday School Google Classroom. And our lesson this week is Love the Lord Your God, Jehovah Elohim. And our scripture passage this week is from Deuteronomy 6. This week our families will all be celebrating Thanksgiving. And of course, because of COVID-19, our celebrations will look a little different this year. You might not get to see your cousins or your grandparents or go over to your neighbor's house for dinner. But we still have so much to be thankful for, especially God's love for us. There was a man named John. He was one of Jesus' disciples, and he wrote down all the things that Jesus did while he was living on this earth. We call those writings the Gospel of Jesus Christ. And when John was writing all about Jesus, he remembered that Jesus said this, We know how to love each other because God loved us first. Isn't that amazing? We know what love is because God loved us first. Have you ever heard someone ask the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Of course, it's a silly question, and it really doesn't have an answer other than the simple fact that we know that God created everything, including chickens and chickens' eggs. Well, we can ask another question just like that one. Which came first? My love for God or God's love for me? Well, the answer this time is perfectly clear. God loved me first. If we go way back into the Old Testament of our Bibles, we find a book called Deuteronomy. That's a really long word that means the second book. And in this case, it means the second book of God's law. In the sixth chapter of Deuteronomy, we read these words. Listen, people of Israel. The Lord is our God. He is our only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Last week, I talked to you about the Ten Commandments in the book of Exodus. Here in the book of Deuteronomy, we read the Ten Commandments again, sort of like a refresher, just in case we forgot what God told us to do and what not to do. But before we hear the Ten Commandments again, God reminds us about love. Notice what God says about love here. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. You know, when we think about following rules, sometimes we make bad decisions. We think, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't like that rule. I'm not going to do it. But God asked us to follow his rules, the Ten Commandments, because he loves us. And he wants us to be safe, love other people, and treat each other with kindness. So before he reminds his people of the rules once more, he reminds them about love. He asks his people, and you and I, to love him unconditionally. What does unconditionally mean? It means love God no matter what. Think about this. How much do you love your mom or your dad, your grandma or your grandpa? I'm sure you love them all an awful lot. Could you ever stop loving them? I hope you said no. When we really love someone, we usually never stop loving them. And that's all God is asking for us here. Never stop loving me. God wants us to love him with our whole heart. Sometimes we fake that we like something or even love something. We want to make someone happy or we pretend that we like something. God never wants us to pretend about our love for him. 
God wants us to love him with all our minds. When we think about God, he wants us to think about our love for him. When we think about others, God wants us to think about them with love. God wants us to love him with our strength, too. We should never use our strength to hurt someone or be mean to someone. Instead, God wants us to use our strength to love other people. So how about you? How much do you love God? With a full heart? With all your mind? And with all your strength? I hope so. Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, different as it may be this year. We have many, many things to be thankful for. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday and make sure that you are grateful and thankful for all that God has given you. And until next week, blessings to you all.